Hey, what's up everyone? Back again with another video. That's right, this video is going to be about a barn door project. During portions of the video, you will see my process of framing, installation of drywall, and the barn door install. So let's get into this video. To start off, pressure treated wood is always recommended when making contact with the floor. I'll be using a handheld ram set with 0.22 powdered blanks and for the anchors, I'll be using powdered actuated 2.5 inch nails. When using a ram set, I highly recommend using earplugs and safety glasses. Holding the handle firmly on the ram set, push down and hit the top of the ram set. This next part of the video is the frame out, so enjoy the time lapse. When you add corner beads to the edge of the drywall, you will get a nice clean corner. I prefer using metal corners, but they also come in paper face, vinyl, and galvanized steel. When doing the first step of tape and float, you want to add mud to the seam, then your paper, work from the middle out to your sides. For your DI wires, I would recommend using this inside corner trowel. Same process as the last, you want to add mud first. Get your measurement of your tape, fold the paper, add it to the mud. Work from the middle out to the edges. 
Then take a small taping knife and clean off the edges of excess mud. If you plan to mix up a lot of mud, I would use a drywall hog to make your job much easier. This section of the video, I will be unboxing the barn door, explaining what tools you will be needing for the bracket and wheel layout. I will be using this section right here to get the layout of the bracket. Use a 3 quarter inch bit to finish out the hole. From the top of your door, lay out an inch and a half, place a mark, then go down three and a half inches. Then place your mark. I will be placing my bracket center of the design line and the edge of the door. Grab the bracket, double check your work before drilling any holes. 
Hold the bracket firmly using a quarter inch bit, pre-drill the holes out. Now grab your drill with the 3 quarter inch bit and drill them out. Make sure to drill straight. Place your bracket on the door and align the holes and add your bolts. Each setup should be a bolt, two washers, and a half inch nut. Pull the first washer and the nut out and place your bolt with one washer. Then place the washer and the half inch nut on the back side. You will use a 5 8 socket to tighten up the bolts. Repeat the same process with the opposite bracket. To prevent the door from jumping off the rail, install the provided spacers. Angle the door slightly and place it on the rail. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.